Okay, let's create a gallery with a artist response or an artist statement connected to the images that you're sharing. Now you could use a vertical or you could use a horizontal. I'm going to go with the horizontal. Um, and let's start by adding a picture. So I'm gonna to go to my photos, go in here, grab a photo, put that photo in there, move this to the side. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can move this over here. Uh, I'll just rotate this and bring it up. And let's see, size-wise, scale-wise, maybe I'll scale this around there. I'm gonna make sure, oops, I want to make sure that it's off the ground, it comes out of the ground. So I'm gonna put it up just a bit there. And this is where it's gonna start out, so somebody's gonna see this picture quite easily. So this is the first image of my gallery. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add an artist statement. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to Voice Memos and I'll record the artist explaining their image. In this image, there is a multiple exposure. The silhouette of the basketball player is filled with a mural, painted mural, from the streets of around Singapore. There we go. And again, it's gonna make my life a lot easier if I can name this because it's gonna make it easier for me to find later. So that's a good, good thing to do. And I'm going to then share this to files. So I'm gonna to go to files and I have a voice memos folder there. So I'll save it there. And I had an older one on there. So I'll put that there. There we go. Okay, now let's go back to Reality Composer. I'm gonna create a behavior and this new behavior, let's just start with custom. So tap. So when somebody taps the picture, the object there, it's chosen, you're going to play a sound. Now I don't have any sound chosen, so I'm gonna choose this sound and I'm going to import it. And recent, there it is, basketball silhouette. Now, if I don't select it here, it won't select it. So I'm just gonna tap it once really quickly. Image. It starts to play. I can see it. So this is great. I've got this image. This is going to play when this happens. I'm part of the way there. One of the things you might wanna do is you might want to help your audience. They might not know to tap the picture. So you could, if you wanted, as an example, you could put some text in there and uh, say tap the image to hear the artist's statement. I could, um, you can see it here, I'm going to just rotate this down so it's on the ground. I could put it on a sign beside there, but I'm just going to sort of put this on the ground. There we go. And move this towards there. Okay. Now, so, so far so good, um, but we can do even better than this. So the next thing I wanna do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to add another scene. Again, you choose, I'm gonna choose horizontal. And I'm going to uh, add another photo. So this is my second scene. So I'm gonna bring this, oops, let's try that again. Back to Reality Composer. Let's bring this up. And let's choose this image and put it into here. Now we can move this out of the way. And again, I'm gonna move this over this way. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to scale it about the same size as the last one. So there we go. And I'm gonna bring this up so that it's above the ground, okay? So there we go. There it is. And I, I might wanna experiment with that. And again, I could do the same thing where I put an artist statement on here, which would be great. So I would, I would do the same thing, but just to show you, if I go back to scene one, what I want to happen is I want to go to the behaviors and after this audio is playing, I want it automatically to go to the next scene. So to do that, I'm gonna add another action sequence and I'm going to say change scene choose and it's going to go to the next scene now you see how there's a gap in between here that means this will happen and when this is finished this will happen 
So it will go from here to here. Um, and if you, you're gonna have to think about how you might, if you want the people to go, to, for it to actually go right to the next scene, maybe you want them to tap a button on the ground or do something for them to change, that's up to you. Um, and you also might wanna decide if once they're in scene one, how do they, do you want them to be able to get back to scene two or, uh, the, the, sorry, once they're in the scene one, do you want them to be able to get back to here? But you could see that you could have a number of scenes here that this would work pretty well. So why don't we try this out? Let's see how this works. Um, I'm going to go AR and let's find, I can pinch it out and actually make it a bigger if I want. And let's go play. And I can now explore this image. And you see how I can get closer and move around. This is kind of cool. Now it should change, there we go, to my next image. Now I haven't put an audio on this, but I just, I love how you can come in here and sort of explore these parts of this image. Um, it's a great way to show a gallery, a lot of fun.